and girls, welcome to Miss Adu's Academic Corner. <laughs> okay, cover your mouth. <laughs> hey there, boys and girls. I hope you're having a good day, or at least you had one. This is Miss Etta from Miss Etta's Academic Corner, and here are my friends, Judah J Senior, and this is Judah Junior. Yay! We're going to read a book today, and it's called Pop-Up Dinosaurs. Oh, I love those pop-up books, Dad. Yes, I know, son. Yeah, because they are funny, and they're cute. Yes, I know. Let's have a seat so the boys and girls can get ready. I could see Bree and I see Kenya and I see Connor out there. Hey, if you want your child to get a shout out, make sure you send an email to Miss Etta at Etta Ramming, R A H M I N G, at gmail.com. And stay tuned because soon she'll be having a different email address so you can send all your information and questions to Miss Etta's Academic Corner. Thanks, guys, for reminding me about that. Have a seat, everybody. Soon you'll be seeing a different email address where everything with Miss Edda's Academic Corner will go to that address, and you can ask your questions. And if you even want to get a uh, to meet me on Zoom, you can have your parents or your grandparents send me a email, and we'll set it up. And maybe we'll have Judah and Judah Jr read a book with us so that we can read it together okay how's that sound boys and girls well this is called dinosaurs let's get to reading this book and this now this is a hardback book you hear that and we see pretty colors we see yellow we see uh blue we see brown we see orange we see a light blue and a dark blue we see what looks like a dinosaur, and we see some dinosaurs flying. We see white, and let's see. Let's see. Now, boys and girls, let me tell you from the beginning, I'm not going to be saying the names to these dinosaurs correctly, but if you know the names, that's great, because I really can't remember their names, even if when looking them up, it's they're long. This is a pop-up book. Let's get our jaws into this. I'm going to describe it, then I'm going to show it to you. It's an armored beast. Trachotopus has huge horns. One, two, three. They make him look as though as tough as he can be. He is ready to charge, so stay back. You never know when he might attack. The frills around their heads were super hard, and they make a grrr sound. This dinosaur was a plant eater. If you know the name, that's great, but let's show it to you. See that? See the three horns? Yep. You've seen that. You've seen him, right? Now I'm going to describe another one. This one was known as a gentle giant. Bending long necks down to drink. Stomp, 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 stomp. A brachiosaurus is so mighty and proud because she's one of the tallest around. This gentle giant does not eat meat. Yeah. This particular one does not eat meat, but looks for plants on four big feet. They also lived in large herds. That means a, a like a group, like a posse. There's <laughs> a lot of them. There's a family. They all live together. I'm going to turn her around. Stomp, 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 stomp. See that? Long neck. So the middle one is the pop-up one. See, as you move the book, the neck moves. 
And then they have some more pictures of some. Yeah, you've seen these in movies too. Now I'm going to describe another one. This is known, and you can see the top of him on the book. This was known as a flying hunter. How, okay, this one, flop swoosh, flop swoosh. That's the wings making that sound, flop swoosh, flop swoosh. This reptile was known as the king of the skies. He flaps his enormous wings and flies, swooping low and soaring high, one of the biggest ever to fly. They flew high over the land, and this is during prehistoric times. Flop swoosh, flop swoosh, flop swoosh, flop swoosh, flop swoosh, flop swoosh. See that? Flop swoosh. It's big. Enormous wings. See those wings move? Flop swoosh. Mm. We have another one. He's known as the Super Defender. This mommy dino protects her nest. She really is tougher than the rest. Using her strong club-like tail to knock down dinos without fail. Sound she made was thump bump, thump bump, thump bump. Dinosaurs laid their eggs like any other animal. She had a tail that had a huge bony club on the end of it. So what did she look like? There she goes. See that? She's big, right? See that tail move as you open the book? That tail knocked it down. Remember, these are all prehistoric animals. So you're not going to find them now. And the last one is called a mega. That's big. Mega monster. Snap, snap, roar, roar. T-Rex was a huge meat-eating dino. T-Rex jaws are open wide. But don't you dare look inside. For he is hunting for some meat. And dinos make a tasty treat. So remember, some of the dinosaurs ate only plants, and some, like T-Rex, ate meat. Look at how that mouth opens up. So these are just some of the prehistoric animals that existed a long, long time ago. And sometimes you can see them in movies old movies sometimes you see a version of them in the newer movies so this is one of our fun pop-up books and it was about a few of the dinosaurs that dinosaurs that existed a long time ago i hope you enjoyed it boys and girls see you next time mm -hmm.